Real Change is a newspaper that is uh, created and printed in Seattle, um, and it is sold by uh, many uh, homeless people, uh, very low income people, um, and it gives them an opportunity to kind of create their own business in a sense. They buy the paper for 60 cents, um, sell it for $2. Um, and it's always been an organization that I've um, always been really proud of to, to see in the community and uh, was just thrilled to get an opportunity to get involved with it. Addis is, uh, he's a real change vendor um, and he's been selling for quite a while, I understand. And uh, he's just an extraordinary human being. Um, I saw a YouTube video of him uh, talking about how he could, uh, he could choose to be positive, not focus on the negative things, um, and be polite to everybody. Uh, and that really stuck with me um, and it's kind of the benchmark of his success really with this um, and so in creating his portrait I really wanted to um, show that positivity to show the, the joy that this man has who has really not um, he's really not been through the best of times I think the general public has a very naive, uneducated view on homelessness. If you take Addis' situation, um, for instance, he was a, uh, he was a concrete worker um, in Georgia and uh, he got injured on the job, uh, went into a coma, uh, and when he woke up six months later, he pretty much lost everything. Um, it's not really a choice, um, but now he's really uh, He's really making a difference and he's, he's, he's working his way back up again. The portrait project was created by John Williams who is uh, he's, uh, also an artist and uh, he just so happens to work at, at Real Change as a graphic artist. And uh, I've known the guy for a while um, and he had this neat idea to really put a, a face to the, the homeless problem. Uh, the problem of low income for these people and um, so a small group of us started painting portraits of some of the vendors um, and uh, it's really becoming something that's um, really amazing you know, right now I understand the show is in Port Angeles uh, at the library it's going to be there for three months um, and I'm just I'm really happy to be a part of it um, one of the neat things about the show is that um, any artist can participate in it. Um, you don't have to be professional. Um, there's no entry fees. You just have to uh, basically be willing to portray one of these vendors. Um, and the neat thing about that is you get a little bit of the backstory. You get to read their bio, and you know you really get to see. Um, but they're a real person, and their story is, is worthy of sharing. Uh, yeah, yeah, it did. Um, yeah, the, the painting sold to uh, a customer of Addis, actually. And uh, I, I understand he rides his uh, bike by Addis at 3rd uh, and Pike. That's where, where he sells his paper. Um, and I guess would often have, you know, very interesting exchanges with great discussions as he would stop on his on his way to work and um, so when the when the real real change portrait project was down in uh, the Bremerton coffee oasis um, you know this this gentleman contacted me and he said it, you know is the painting for sale and uh, I said sure um, but we came to an agreement that you know all the money would go to um, a, a split between real change and Addis himself, and I understand that um, Addis was pretty happy about that, it sort of made his Christmas, which was really neat. 